everyone, Epic Eclipse here, and today we're going to be going over the difference between keyboard and controller. So I'm going to play with both keyboard and controller in two different matches, so you guys can also see sort of the difference in gameplay, and I will tell you the time difference that I've been playing with them, and everything basically about it, what I like and what I dislike. So starting off, playing with the keyboard, you can probably hear it a little bit. Uh, wow, that's bad. Keyboard. So, I've been playing with keyboard basically my whole time of playing Rocket League, all the way up to basically expert. I only started at level 35 to use controller. And I'm a lot better with keyboard, obviously, because I've been playing it for much more time. But, in my full recommendation, I would say you should use controller for a lot of reasons. It's a lot easier to do aerials and just from the short amount of time that I've been using the controller, even though from playing the game I'm just better at it than when I first started, but from the short amount of time of using the controller, I, not the same skill level, but like I've gotten much better at the controller so much quicker and it's been much easier to do things. So the keyboard, the keyboard has eight different directions that you can go in which is using all the keys, obviously. W, D, S, and A. I said that backwards, than most people can do. But um, if you press W and A, you go like this way. W and D go this way. So it kind of, that has two features to it. One is if you're going and you press W and D and jump, you know you're going to go like that. You know that's gonna happen. There's no doubt about it. Like, it's 100% precise with your movements. About the controller, it's not 100% precise because there's so many different directions and you're using basically a little D-pad to control your movements. So, that's kind of 50-50 on it. You can see the plus because the controller has 16 different movements but it's kind of harder to hit something like that see if I would have done that I could have maybe went a different way and it would have screwed up the shot but I'm sure if you play the controller more often than I have you can get a lot more precise at it and know which ways you're going I just I don't know I like the eight different directions more I wish there's a way to like kind of implement just having eight on the controller because I feel like it kind of gives me more of a direction like I know I'm gonna jump that way by pressing this like I know what's gonna happen from it oh what a great pass what a terrible shot oh wow that was such a bad play but um other thing Con keyboard only has one constant speed you press W you're going this speed nothing to it the controller, on the other hand, you can kind of go and speed up like slowly, which is better for dribbling. So like you can start at a certain speed and then kind of speed up without even having to use boost, which I think is a very good feature about it. Sorry. Just... Uh, okay. Sorry. So, in overall, I know I haven't really said everything yet, but I personally think if you're starting to use your, starting to use your account, if you're just starting to play Rocket League and you're new at it, use the controller. Because once you get used to it, it's better than the keyboard. The keyboard has a lot of different limitations to it, and the 16 movements does really help if you can get the hang of it. But if you do start with the keyboard, I'm switching over to the controller is so hard. Because you're like, I'm so much better with the keyboard. I don't want to do this. You go down a lot. It's not a lot of fun. I've kind of gave it up on it a little bit. When I usually play, I usually play on the keyboard, unless I'm recording. Because then I now recently started to use the controller instead because the noise. But I'm sure when I get a better like a, not a better, but a different 
keyboard that's not as loud, I'll use the keyboard again. Because I'm just a lot better with it. I'm a lot more precise with my movements and I know where I'm going. But I'm sure if I keep on working on the controller, I will get to the same skill and hopefully even better on my controller. And this is just another thing. One of the pros that use keyboard, use keyboard for 1100 hours. And then he switched to controller and used it for 200 hours and his skill was already better than it was with the keyboard. So that kind of says something. That kind of says that like if you really put the time in and use the controller, you you should end up being better. I mean, some people I'm sure won't really be able to use the controller. Sometimes the controls are a little wanky and they're kind of hard to use. But you can set obviously different controls. Like at the end of this video, I will show you the controls that I use for my keyboard and for my controller because keyboard I use a pretty much the basic setup W, ASD obviously sh uh, space for ball cam to regular cam shift for power slide and air rolls and stuff is it air rolls? air control? whatever that's called and uh, left click for boost and right click for jumping so that's basically it okay, so that's the first game Sorry for the clap there, that was probably pretty loud. Um, cool, my beautiful ranking. Hopefully I'm going up soon. Playing with a better teammate, probably, maybe. Still working out when you move up in the ranking system, it's kind of hard to do. But now I'm gonna switch to controller. Uh, so, let's go and find a match and I will see you in the next match. All right, welcome back. I'm in the next match here with the controller and I don't usually use the controller in rank, so this should be pretty interesting. I mean, I'm not that god-awful with it, but we'll see how it works out. Hopefully I win it, because I think I'm about to go up in my rank in doubles. Oh, wow. See, like, that little jump that I did there, like that? Oh, Jesus. Like, that's one of the 16 different movements, which really does help. that one. Sorry, I'm still a little sick. I don't know when it's going to go away. Eventually, I've had it for about a month. Just pneumonia really kills you. I think I have my controller set up pretty normal to like what people not normally have, but with like the pros use. Because it's pretty much the best setup which I will show you that after this game. The one thing that I don't like about the controller right now is I do derp around a little bit because sometimes making like a couple of movements is a little awkward for me and I, it's kind of hard. And I do go the wrong way sometimes, but it's all... I hate getting stuck there. It's all on time, we'll get better and better. Dripping the shit out of my teammate there. I didn't expect him to come and hit it. Oh, Jesus. We're kind of both going to do the same thing. Hopefully, we can get to that. No. What was that? What was that? Alright. So, basically, the controller, I use A for boost, B for jump. Uh, for To look backwards, it is the right analog stick. And oh jeez, I meant to press to take the shot. Did not do that though. Sorry, you figured it. Oh no! Wow, that looks really awkward. I really have a boost here. And then um, left analog stick for ball cam and the other cam, whatever you want to call it, free cam. And then for a power slide, the thing that I really mainly changed is the left thumbstick. Thumbstick? No. 
the left uh, bumper is for power slide and air rolls. So. There we go. Because if you have power slide and air rolls and X, it's kind of hard to fly and do it at the same time. So if you just play with your two fingers on the, on the back of the controller, on the left side, it, I think it works out pretty well. that but he did excuse me Let's see if I don't derp out here I did derp out that was terrible so hopefully eventually I will full time switch the controller and I can work it much better in the near future that should probably happen the more I work with it obviously the better I'll get hopefully I will eventually get to the point that like I'm pretty good on the controller. I don't think I'm that bad. I don't think I'm too far off of my actual rank. But I'm definitely better on controller. On controller? No, on keyboard. Oh no, why'd he hit that? God damn it, I hate when people are so aggressive. Such aggressive teammates. I mean, that was totally his ball, but like... Ooh, what a save. Get that out of there. No. Just a little derpy sometimes. I don't know if you can tell. Alright. So basically, I think I've went over basically all the differences from controller to keyboard. Overall, keyboard is the lesser opponent. I'm saying it's so weird, I'm sorry. Controller is better than keyboard in many ways, and you should start off right away with using a controller. To set up a controller, I use an Xbox One controller, but you can use PlayStation, uh, Xbox 360, whatever you want to use, even a, the Steam controller. For Xbox One, you can run to GameStop and they have a wireless adapter or just a wire basically that will connect to the from your controller back of your computer or I have a desktop so to any USB in your computer wow that was just god awful so it's pretty simple and I would recommend going with um, a wired because you get quicker response time then. And obviously, it's well needed. We should keep on hitting it to this guy. So, it's pretty simple to set up too. I run Windows 10 at the moment, and it's fairly easy. Oh my god, I'm playing so awful. To be expected, but at least a little bit better maybe. No! Teammate wedge from medical. I hope we win this game. I really do. Because I probably will get promoted from it. If not this game, the next. I don't really think I should be in the rank that I'm in at the current moment. Because I seem to be doing okay with controller. Which means that that's a little low for me. Oh, I passed that right to him. Let's see if we can get a last second here. There we go. I think I made up for all my derps. Obviously, if you switch, well, if we start using controller right away, you generally should get better. If you want to try out keyboard, go for it. I definitely love using keyboard, and I think it's great. But just statistic-wise and stuff, and from what I can even tell, uh, controller is way better. But we'll have to see. All right. So let's exit out here, and this is, should be the end of the video here. But I'm gonna just show you my controllers. I'm gonna go through them if you want to see them. I mean, it's pretty standard, really nothing much here. The other big thing is the camera swivel. So when you're in game, you can kind of move your camera around and look around instead of just seeing in one direction. 
which is a really big help as well. So this is all my controls here. So that's been my video on controller versus keyboard for Rocket League. So I hope you've enjoyed and I hope it helped. This has been Epic Eclipse and peace out.